caballeros de Sevilla, pues ya me fue. The ribeye taco. Camera one, camera two. And the pork tostada. And a Mexican craft lager. We'll go for this first. It's your standard lager. It doesn't really have a whole lot of life to it. But it has Mexican seawater in it. Mexican seafood, so that's it. We'll try the pork tostada first. Doug's gonna love this. There's beans and maybe like a, a salsa verde on it. There's a decent size of, amount of pork on there. I like that, I think that's good. The pork is really tender. I like the crispiness of the tostada. The beans have a little bit of smokiness to them. That's a good dish. A little bit of lime. Looks like a flour tor or corn tortilla. The ribeye is a little bit like bristling. Otherwise, it's a good taco. It's very tender. And so everybody's fine. Now I'm fine. My feelings are hurt. It's actually pretty good. Yeah, it's a I told you. Outside of the texture of the beans. The pork is very good. Because we haven't had enough pork this week. The ribs, full pork, everything. I like that too. You saw the dishes there. Whoa, very lime. Oh my goodness. You put all the lime on there, didn't you? Apparently. Yeah. Two solid dishes in Mexico. A decent palate cleansing beer, as you would say. Just your standard lager, but that's okay for me. It's not quite done. Your hide and squeak map that you got beat by 10 four year olds doing. I didn't. And now you want your prize. I need my prize. You need it. I need it. What are you going to get? I don't know. I don't know my options, honestly. I believe they're tumblers again this year. Hmm. And then you're going to have to make a decision. Which one did I have last year? I don't. Figment, maybe? No, Remy. <laughs> then why'd you ask me if you knew? Berry Bliss, I believe frozen strawberry with coconut syrup and raspberry vodka. You believe or did you just read that off the sign? I read that off the sign. International Space Training Center. You're here today to train for the greatest adventure in the history of mankind, space travel. Let me introduce you to your spacecraft, the X-2 Space Shuttle. It's powered by solid hydrogen and can accelerate from zero to 6,000 in 60 seconds. 
As you can see, astronaut flight training isn't like anything you've ever experienced before. If you would like to opt out, just ask any member of the ISTC crew for directions. As for the rest of you, report for your pre-flight briefing. It's go time. Congratulations, team. You have been selected to train for a spectacular mission around the Earth. Your flight path will take you west across North America, Asia, Europe, and back home to Florida. Well, I guess that's everything. Good luck, Earth team. You are on the clock. It is a pierogi with, I'm not sure what this is, caramelized onions and something. I thought it was supposed to be sausage. Uh, oh yes, it's it kielbasa, is kielbasa, right? It is kielbasa. Two small pieces of kielbasa. Well, it's a whole construction project here. I didn't mean to get that much onion. All right. The onions are good to me. The pierogi is kind of bushy inside. Like I know it's mashed potatoes, but it just doesn't have a lot of good flavor. This used to be one of my favorite dishes. Yeah. I'm here to tell you now that Brittany's wrong. Huh? It's a good pierogi. It tastes like every pierogi should. Mm -hmm. Needs more sour cream as always. But yeah. Good stuff. Let's get a piece of the kielbasa. Well, let's try. I wasn't lying about that. See, she compromised. She found the frozen s'mores and decided she needed frozen s'mores as well. It is the non alcoholic version. This is the cake pop with Twix. Look how big it is. It is large. I'm glad we didn't need two. It's big. You don't like cake and you don't like pops. The liquid nitro is good, like nice and cold. Um, the cake pop is like a really dense, like kind of almost brownie like. Yeah, that's what that's what we've heard is it's it's very brownie like. She took a big chunk that time. I don't get much Twix flavor from the outside. 
but it's very charcoal-y. The frozen s'more. Is it like a frozen hot chocolate? Kind of. It does have like a hint of graham cracker, kind of blended in. Not texture-wise, but it's not just chocolate. Personally, I like the frozen s'more better than the cake pop, but I'm not a cake fan. I thought there would be a crunchy hard shell. Mm, yeah, it doesn't really have a crunchy hard no. shell. It just kind of melts away. No. Yeah. It's not bad. Mm -hmm. I am a cake fan, as we can tell. And uh, I do like it. I don't get the Twix flavor like you said. But maybe we're just not getting the right uh, no. bunches. We'll try the... For being non-alcoholic, it tastes like it has booze in it. I know, that's kind of what I thought. Yeah. It's good as long as you can get past the little first taste of thinking it has booze in it.